The pancreas is an accessory organ of the digestive system uh, and secretes uh, pancreatic juice, uh, which contains many different enzymes, including amylase, which breaks down polysaccharides into disaccharides, trypsin, which is going to break uh, proteins and uh, polypeptides into smaller fragments of amino acids, and lipase, which is going to act to degrade triglycerides or fats into the building blocks of fatty acids and glycerols. Uh, pancreatic juice also contains bicarbonate, bicarbonate ions, which are going to be important in neutralizing uh, that acidity release from the stomach into the small intestine. Uh, because uh, recall the stomach has a very low pH because of the hydrochloric uh, acid cells it's released uh, to break down pepsin. Uh, these pancreatic juice drains from the pancreas into the pan pancreatic duct which is going to fuse with the common bile duct before entering the small intestine. This shows the location of the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas, it shows the pancreatic duct leading into the common bile duct, which is going to release its uh, pancreatic juices into the small intestine. The liver has a variety of metabolic and regulatory roles. It's the largest internal, internal organ. It's nutrient-laden nutrient blood capillaries in the villi of the small intestine travel through the hepatic portal vein to the liver, and a portal system is just a vein linking uh, two capillary beds. The hepatic portal system is the uh, vein links the capillary beds of the villi between the small intestine with the capillary beds of the liver. Digestive activities of the liver includes that it produces bile, it helps to regulate blood glucose levels, it packages lipids with proteins to form lipoproteins which aid uh, transport in the blood. It's the source, uh, primary source of blood cholesterol. It helps to remove poisonous substances. Uh, once the liver adjusts the composition of blood, the blood's returned to the general circulation. Uh, the liver is said to participate in more than 500 functions. So it's a very insorted, uh, important organ. Uh, the liver also degrades worn out red blood cells using the bilirubin produced to synthesize the bile. Uh, it converts the breakdown of amino acids into urea that's excreted in the kidneys. Uh, the liver stores iron. It stores vitamins A, D, E, K, and also B12. So it's a very important organ. And so this shows the uh, hepatic portal system we discussed earlier, that the products of digestion are absorbed into the capillaries within the villi of the small intestine. This is where the absorption is going to occur. This digested food then travels through the hepatic portal veins to the liver. The liver monitors uh, the blood contents and the hepatic veins deliver the blood back to the circulatory system to be delivered to the body. Disorders of the liver is cirrhosis, wherein fat and then scar tissue accumulate in the liver can be caused by excessive use of alcohol drinking. Uh, hepatitis is an inflammation of the limer, liver commonly caused by one of six uh, different uh, viruses, A, B, C, D, E, and G. Uh, in the liver, the liver stops filtering uh, bilirubin from the blood, re resulting in that jaundice, that yellowish tint to the skin and white to the eyes. Uh, bilirubin is a yellowish pigment. Approximately four million individuals in the United States have hepatitis C, and most don't even have any idea how they are affected. Uh, it's spread primarily by intravenous drug users, uh, piercing, tattooing, or blood transfusions prior to the means of testing for the virus. Uh, hepatitis A, uh, one example, is spread by like sewage contaminated water or food. 
it's an acute infection, which acute just means it comes on rapidly, and that uh, fatigue, jaundice, fever, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, uh, recovery within several months. This could be a concern in areas such as on the coast where, uh, say as in Hurricane Katrina, there was a lot of flooding because it spread by uh, sewage contaminated water or really any, any area of the country where flooding were a problem. The gallbladder is also an accessory organ of the uh, digestive system. Um, it's a muscular pear-shaped sac that functions by storing, modifying, and concentrating the bile produced by the liver. Uh, disorder is gallstones in that cholesterol and other substances can build up around a particle. Uh, if they block the flow of bile, it may require surgery. And this just shows the gallbladder and the accumulation of that uh, uh, gallstones, which if uh, block that duct can become very painful, but they can go in and surgically be removed. The large intestine is that the materials that have not been absorbed by the small intestine move to the large intestine. Uh, functions of the large intestine is that it absorbs most of the water remaining in the indigestible food residue. It acts to store feces and eliminate feces. So it's kind of the last call to um, any elimination that the body makes is going to take the water out there because the body's going to conserve everything that we need. That's, uh, that's just our, our makeup, our way our body works. It's going to maintain all the components that we need to remain healthy. The large intestines have four regions, the cecum, the colon, the rectum, and the anal canal. And we've got an image coming up here. This shows the cecum. See the appendix, uh, which is a little structure um, hanging right off the cecum. You've heard of appendicitis. That's where that becomes infl inflamed. Shows the rectum and the anal canal, and you'll see you see that external anal sphincter, which is just a muscle that we control to uh, control when we're going to do our elimination. The cecum that we just looked at is the pouch at the junction of the small and the large intestine. The appendix was the, the structure extended from the cecum. It has no digestive function, but it's believed to play a role in the immune system. Disorder is the appendicitis that we discussed, which is an inflammation of the appendix. Blockage of the appendix by either stool, food, or a tumor allows the bacteria to multiply. Treatment typically includes antibiotics and, and uh, surgical removal of the appendix. Symptoms include indigestion, pain, vomiting, nausea, and fever. And uh, appendicitis can prove fatal. If the appendix rupture, it allows the contents to spill into the abdominal cavity. So it's a, it's a very serious um, symptoms to know and to seek help. The colon itself was this, has this ascending, the transverse, and the descending. It absorbs 90% of the remaining water, sodium, and potassium left in the residue. Uh, functions of the large intestine is to absorb the water in ions, as well as this area contains the beneficial bacteria that produce uh, vitamins. Recall vitamin K is produced by intestinal bacteria, which is uh, a key component and essential uh, for blood clotting mechanisms. The blood, uh, the material left in the large intestine after passing through the colon is called feces and eliminated through the body, from the body. Peristaltic contractions move the material also through the uh, large intestine in the same mechanisms that was moving through the esophagus. Uh, these periodic peristaltic contractions 
or slower the contractions in the small intestines, thus it allows for adequate water reabsorption to occur. Um, feces is pushed into the rectum initiating the defecation reflex. Feces move into the anal canal. There's two sphincters. There are the internal sphincter and the external sphincter. Uh, both must relax for defecation. The internal sphincter is going to be automatic it's, uh, as part of the defecation reflex. The internal sphincter is under voluntary control. That's the learned reflex that uh, we learn as children when we're potty trained. So the external sphincter is under voluntary control, whereas the internal sphincter is under uh, involuntary control. Disorders of the co uh, colon include diarrhea, constipation, and uh, diverticulitis or pouches, diverticuli. Diarrhea occurs when material passes through the colon too rapidly and not enough water is reabsorbed, whereas on the other hand, constipation um, is when materials pass through the colon too slowly and too much water is reabsorbed. Pouches uh, or diverticuli in the intestinal wall. Diverticulosis is that the diverticuli do not cause problems where diverticulitis uh, is where the, these diverticuli or these pouches become infected and inflamed. Anytime you see a word ending in ITS, ITIS, that means inflammation. Um, symptoms of diverticulitis include fever, um, rectal bleeding, cramping, and uh, in abdominal pain. Uh, what can cause this is, uh, we'll look at an image here, uh, constipation, straining can cause pressure within the veins of the anus and the rectum, causing them to stretch and enlarge. As a result, these weaker areas can begin to bulge outward, forming small pouches called diverticuli and common in people older than 50. Uh, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death. Uh, genetic mutations transform the cells into cancerous tumor. May take polyps 10 years to grow before they turn cancerous. Sometimes uh, blood in the stool may indicate these polyps uh, uh, and can only be detected through a diagnostic test called a colonoscopy. A polyp is just an abnormal growth of tissue that projects uh, from a mucous membrane. For digestion to occur, enzymes got to be in the right place at the right time. However, these enzymes should not be present unless the food is present. Nerves and hormones orchestrate the release of these digestive secretions. Uh, the process, these processes that are quick or anticipatory are controlled by the nervous system. Processes that take more time are controlled by hormones. Salivation is controlled by the nervous system. Food depends, uh, food, food spends little time in the mouth, so neural control, fat, which is faster, works better. Because remember, hormonal control, it has to get into the bloodstream, be released into the bloodstream, and then travel throughout the body. So neural, neural activities are always going to be faster. The release of the gastric juice by the stomach is controlled by the nervous system. Chewing the food is the stimulus, and the hormone gastrin, which allows the stomach to expand, uh, is the uh, and by the hormone gastrin, which uh, distension of the stomach uh, expanding facilitates. Release of enzymes from the small intestines and pancreas, as well as bile from the uh, gallbladder is triggered largely by neural reflexes. Hormones released by the small intestine also plays a ro role in that. There's a vasoactive intestinal peptide released by the small intestine and cholecystokinin 
which causes the pancreas to release its enzymes uh, and the gallbladder to contract and release bile. Basioactive intestinal peptide is, uh, as I said, released from the small intestine uh, into the bloodstream where it causes the release also of intestinal juices.